Hey there, um, I just wanted to show off some of the cool uh, flying physics that I've been working on for this uh, particular aircraft in Vertigo 2. Um, so as you can see it's got these four engines on it, so I thought wouldn't it be neat if it flew like a quadcopter? So what I've done is make it fly exactly like a quadcopter using actual um, quadcopter controller code. So that's pretty neat. Let's check it out in action. So this is the target point that it's going to be always trying to fly to, which we can move around and control. As you can see it does a nice job of um, looking like it's actually flying, because it is actually flying. And of course we can move this and it'll move to it. It's not the most precise control, as you can tell. It'll take a while to actually um, match the target position because it, it uh, prioritizes like not flipping over and uh, not getting into a uh, feedback loop of swinging around. And... and it does no obstacle avoidance right now, so it will just run into stuff, I think, if I tell it to. Let's watch. Yep. Let's run into stuff. But it does a good job of stabilizing itself and figuring it out. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, crap, I got a robot trying to kill me. It's okay, we can just ignore that. It seems to be stuck on the wall, which is not ideal. But it's a little nudge. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, the problem was that it just couldn't rotate backwards, which was which is how it um, tilts itself. It's weird that it wasn't just lowering the thrust on its uh, rear engines to do that. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I have a little debug view of uh, how much thrust each of the th ah, each of the thrusters is causing, which we can see here. So when we move it to the side, after it finishes bugging out, it actually doesn't change all that much. But um, moving up and down, we will be able to see quite a difference. Yeah, there it goes. You can see when it wants to stop and. Uh, it does seem to be overshooting a little bit too much on the up and down. I've I've been tuning the um, uh, the multipliers for all the different uh, PID controllers for it for several hours already, and I do not want to tune them anymore. So I think I'm just going to live with the fact that it sometimes overshoots or uh, or takes a while to get to the target. But you know, I'm really happy with how this looks and how it um, um, how it really looks like it's actually you know flying around. If I want to um, make it follow a path, I could just have it target the next point in the path, and then it can, you know, realistically uh, round corners and um, go wherever you want it to. I'm thinking about making a little kind of 3D navigation system so it can follow the player wherever the player is on this uh, structure, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, and there it is. Oh yeah, and one more thing which I gotta show off is um, its destruction, which I will hop into VR for. You might not be able to hear me too well because I'll be far away from the mic, but we'll see. Mm. And then for a nice landing. That'd be cool if I actually made it able to land. Yeah, there we go. That's actually getting it. Alright, here we go. Yay! Bye bye. Lovely. <laughs>